All right, so let's start the day um, by actually trying to figure out how to do this uh, this thing with these tools. Um, I did a little looking, and I think we need some sticks to start with. So let's go here. Let's make a couple of sticks, make a bunch of them. And then I think it was like stick and stick. Maybe? What was it? We need a tool rod was the thing. This guy. Uh, it was two planks. They gave us a stick. A stick is a stick. Okay, hold on. What was it? Rough rod. Aha! They were like this. Okay, so we go like this and we get a rough rod. Okay, and then I think it was a the rough rod and a piece of metal like this. Yes, and that gives us a crude dagger from Silent Gear. So now we have a crude dagger, crude but effective. And now we can take that and we can get some logs. I think I have some cherry wood here. I don't know if this will work. We may have to get some oak. We'll keep that oak just in case. We take that, we put that in there, and we put that with that. Yes, and then we get template boards. So now we've got template boards. Very nice. And then to make a, hey, these will do for now, advancement. Um, to make a repair kit, it was this guy with a piece of metal and a stick and then uh, template boards here. So let's get one more piece of metal like that. Boom. And then we go like you, 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 and you. Put you there and put another rod there. Or I think it was a stick, actually, not a rod. And boom. Now we have a crude repair kit. So we've got that, and then I think we can use this plus stone, because we're using stone tools at the moment. Let me find some stone. We got some cobble here, and I think we can do like U plus U, and just keep doing this until it's fully, I wonder if we can do it this way. We can do it like that, right? And pull him out. Is that as far as he'll go? All right, weird. I don't understand that, but okay. So is that full? Purple is full. Um, yeah, I guess that's as full as it goes, like that. Okay, and now we should be able to take this at any point, shove like our stone axe. Um, actually, let's not do that. Let's get the specific. I don't want the Minecraft tools. I want. I'll have to make a garbage can or something. I'm going to chunk all of this up in here. And I want only the silent gear stuff. So stone sword from silent gear. Um, stone pickaxe from silent gear. Stone shovel from silent gear. And fully stone axe from silent gear. And we should be able to take that, put it in here, put that with it, and boom, it's repaired. And it doesn't look like it took too much of a hit to repair it. And then, of course, the good thing being that um, we can fill that repair kit back up down in the dungeon. So for, you know, stone tools, this is great, specifically because we can just keep repairing as need be, you know. So let's chunk the rest of this back up in here. For now, I'm going to put these template boards up in here. Um, got to remember where I put and stuff. All this up in here. Uh... You go in there, you go in there, and I'm going to leave this dagger in here for now, too, with these. Okay, and so what we're going to do next is we're going to go mining, because we really need to find more materials. I'd like to have all of this in, in metal, of course, and iron, um, so we need to really find a spot, but we're going to go dig down and make our, our mine. And if we're looking at the map... I'm thinking, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's that, I don't, I don't know what that is. Let's go see what that is. That's straight to the west. I'm not sure why it's showing up black on the map. We'll see what that is real quick, and then we're going to probably go mining around here somewhere. All that lava is probably going to become obsidian for us eventually. See how there's a black circle on the map? I don't remember that being there last time. Now, we have updated to the newest version of Valhelsia 2. It came out a couple days ago. 
Oh, that's that. I think it's like bitumen or something. It's, you can't really tell. It's like oil or bitumen or one of those things. I'm not sure. Um, we'll figure it out later when we have a bucket and we pull a bucket of it out and we'll know what it is because mousing over it doesn't do it. Um, let's go home and sleep real quick and then we're going to start a mine in the morning. So I'll catch you guys as soon as I get that mine started. All right, so I've picked this spot right here alongside this. There's, there's the house and here's a little stairway which will build up with some like actual stairs here before too long. This will be my stairway down to bedrock. And so I'm going to continue doing that. We'll just keep going down to bedrock here as we go and digging our, our normal staircase down. And um, I'll bring you guys in when we hit something interesting. So diggy diggy hole for me and I'll be back. So I've hit a pretty large patch of bitumen here. You can see I've already got a ton of it. I'm not sure what it's for. I guess we can make bitumen blocks. We can make asphalt out of it. Um, yeah, it looks like asphalt's the big thing. Um, we can compact it into, like, so bitumen block looks like the easiest way to just do it. But I guess this machine could do it for us if we were needing to automate it. But then later on, we can use it in mechanical crafting and create to make asphalt as well. So if we need to automate something, that'll that'll be a thing that we can do. I also wanted to point out, if you look, this is interesting. I'm underground, so you can see all of the underground caves but that right there north of us or west of us that looks different i don't know what that is it almost looks like a structure you see that so i'm going to finish mining out this bit you in real quick um and then i'm going to go explore that and see what that is and uh we'll be back as soon as i get done mining all this out all right so i've decided we're going to make us a iron sword before we go down in there because uh, you'll hear this in a second when we get down in there. It sounds pretty rough down there. Lots of stuff in there to kill, I'm sure. Um, so let me just get rid of that. Do I have everything but a chest piece? Um, you know what? We're going to go with just this for now. Maybe we'll find armor while we're there. So there's no point in wasting materials right now. When it's possible, we're going to find armor. So down into the cave we go. If I can stop with the fall damage, that'd be amazing. See, there's a couple spots here we probably got to light up again along the way. But you'll see we got down here. I was going over whatever that is, so I curled back this way. All right, so we came down here back around this way, and I found, obviously, what is the wall, whatever this is. So we're going we're gonna to peek through. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is, that's it's a dungeon of some kind, right? Obviously. Um, I guess Carpe Diem, right? No guts, no glory, all of that. Let's light all this up in here. Oh no, baby. Baby zombie. Oh, look at all the zombies coming. All right, we got to go. We got to go. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's just a sea of zombies. Oh, my. Okay. I don't know where I backed into, but it was not the right spot. So let's see if we can get our stuff back real quick. I'm just going to take this. And we'll put on the boots and the helmet just in case. That was uh, something. It was definitely something. So let's go see what death is like in this pack. I can see there's a skull on my mini-map now. If I could stop falling, that'd be amazing. So we definitely have a, a, a spot aiming to it. So there might be like a tombstone. Latest death. All right, so we're going to come here. We're going to clear these out. Before we jump down. Wonder if they're just gonna keep respawning though. That's right. That's right. Line up for the kill. That was a lot of zombies, guys. Oh. 
Come on, hurry up. If I can get them all killed, I can run down in there and get my stuff real fast. Problem is, of course, zombies trigger other zombies to come to their position when they spot you. Alright, can I get my stuff? How full is it going to be down in here? Pretty full. So, what do we do? I don't know what we do here. Oh, we got our stuff. Okay. Alright. It gave us our stuff. But what's the floaty thing there? I don't know. That's weird. It's very weird. Let's kill this guy and then we're gonna plug the hole and take this a little bit at a time here. Oop, here they come. Gotta plug early. Plug. Oh shit. Oh shoot. So many zombies. He's not getting knocked back much, is he? Not much of a knockback on the stone sword. Alright, um, let's get some cobble in our hand here. Let's get our... Oh gosh! Here they come again. We've opened a gateway to hell, apparently. And we're summoning all of the minions out of it. Alright, let's go up top. Good lord, what did we open up? All right, let's take him up. Come on up here where you guys can burn, baby, burn. That's right, walk into the sun. Walk into the sun. Stupid zombies. Ow, nope, they set me on fire. Mistakes have been made. He's got armor, so he's not gonna burn. But we can just bop him. Okay, um, I have some bread. Let's eat that. So what we gotta do is we gotta get down there and plug the holes that they're coming out of, and that way we can take it one room at a time. Because it seems like they're emptying from every room forward, if you know what I mean. So let's put a block here. And we'll put a block here. And that will stop anything but babies from coming out. Um, so we may have to be cautious about babies. Put you there. Backup sword there. Get everything back into position. Uh, where's my shield? I don't see my shield anywhere. Return you have... Nope, that's a waystone thing. We don't have a waystone thing. Now how does this work? How do we get rid of this, I wonder? this. Look at this nightmare. Look at that nightmare. Now what do you do with this? Can we break you? Left clicked on that. And it disappeared. Is that it? You just left click and it goes away? Alright. Can we go into the map and remove that? Uh, disable? No. Edit, right click, teleport T, disable, delete, delete. Oh, okay, so if we just delete over it. Okay. So that's how you do that. It looks like you can teleport to waypoints too. I don't know if that's going to be per server. Antlers, mana steel, a bucket, light gray rune. Plenty of stuff here, so let's take that. Let's pop this. Uh, where's my axe? Put my shield back in my offhand. Shield doesn't really help much against zombies. But it definitely helps against... Uh, Skellies. Rocky dirt. Mossy cobblestone. Alright, break this. Break that. That's just decoration, but who knows? We might need a skull for something eventually, right? Ooh, and then let's look at what's here. We've got some gold. We can't dig gold with that. We can dig tin, though. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go um, home at some point and get us an iron pick so we can do the next bit. In fact... Let me do that. Let me go home and grab us an iron pick. That way we can 
dig up anything we see along the way that's iron level or better. So I'll be back in just a minute. Morning time, and look at all the skeletons running under trees. They're out there, burning. Gonna have to put some lights out there so they can't spawn too close. Because right now my forest is a deadly, pokey skeleton habitat. But we're not worried about that right now. We're going back down. We have our iron pick now. So we can dig up anything we find. Probably need more torches, actually. So let me grab some wood. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We've got an iron pick, which means that we can dig up gold now. Um, it also means that we can go into these places here. Let me get this cobble out. Let's get light up in here real quick. Oop, run. He's going to shoot us in the back. He didn't see us. I don't know how he didn't see us, but he didn't see us. It's amazing. Okay, so we need to seal off other passageways. And he fell down there, whatever's down there. Aha, there's a spawner. That explains that. All right, let's seal this up in here real quick. Oh, uh, baby, baby, baby. Dang it. Baby skeleton got me. They're so evil. Gonna have to be a little more cautious about taking these rooms. We're not fully armed up yet. All right, you little bastage. Come get it. Come here. Die. You died before me. Oh, man. Babies are evil. Baby zombies are evil at the best of times. All right, we got all our stuff back here. Let's put it back in the correct positions. Don't have all of it back, though. Like, where's my armor? Oh, so you gotta, as you beat it up, it gives you all your stuff back is how that works. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You go away. So I think what we could do is light it up from this side, maybe? Is that what this is here for? So that you could like sneak in and drop in a torch in here like that? That helps light some of that up. Hmm. This will be interesting to do. Let's heal. We may just need to get some better armor before we can hack this, guys. All right, sealing it up. That's right, come on down here. Hmm. Maybe we dig in our own way. Right? Like, we take it, we're gonna do this our own way. We're not taking your roads. We're gonna take our own roads. got to get light around that spawner that's that is first and foremost you know what I'm saying or we just got to break that spawner oh it's a silver fish what are the chances I actually wouldn't mind if we could just light this up, because I don't really want to break it yet, because I don't know how good spawners are for us at this point, you know what I mean? So if we can get enough light in there to shut it down, that'd be great, without breaking it. That would be the preference. Plus, this is a pretty good little XP farm here, except for babies, which would mess us up, you know what I mean? We 
Let's sit here and farm XP. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go around and over and put lights up everywhere. I really want. Ow. Okay. Damn it. No. Uh oh, that's a baby. Hurry, get a light there. And then seal this up. Like that. There we go. We'll do the same thing here if we can. That's just another room right there. Let's see if we can do it on this side. Put a light in there. Like that. And seal this back up. This is a crazy dungeon for the start of the game. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Dang silverfish. There's still zombies coming out of that thing. Need more light. Need more light in there. Need to get the other side over there as well. So I'm gonna sneak around this way. Let's see if we can go up this way. Come in from the side over here, maybe? this way now. Untold riches await those who are brave enough to take them. But you gotta be careful of that because spawners will use your area around you if you don't keep it lit. I'll take all this too, thank you. Let's put a torch there. Seal that. That's my other passageway right there, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, it is. Okay. eat some food this is what clay looks like in this pack apparently it's this white stuff we'll take it out thank you this is slightly challenging guys I'm not gonna lie this is slightly challenging I would just say we go straight up but skeletons and all Skellies being what skellies are. There's a creeper. We don't want to mess with him. Y'all get down there. We'll go deal with you in a minute. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build over top of this and light up as we go. So if we just keep building this way, just be cautious not to um, give them a way up while you're doing this. You know what I mean? this way. Careful of those red spots. You don't want them to have a spot they can spawn on you at. You know what I mean? Alright, 
so let's build across here. Put lights there if we can. Kill that. Let's get rid of these. We're gonna go across here next. Um, I don't have a straight amount of cobble, so we'll use diorite. Creeper. He'd be creeping. As soon as we get this fully unlit up, I'm gonna put that right there to block anything coming in that room. And we're gonna put this right there. And that should shut down all the spawns in here from that guy. So let's go back over this way. We can hop up. Look at that. Yikes. What we need is a way to put down lights ahead of us, like a torch thrower or something. I don't know if such a thing exists in this game, but let's uh let's go back and find out, shall we? Let's head back. This is kinda dangerous. How the hell did we get in here? How the hell do we get out? Uh-oh, they're battling it out down there now. You go down there. Anybody else? Alright, creeper. Here, we're gonna give him a little path to hop up on us. And then we can deal with him. So, go there. Alright, this room should be safe now. I don't see any other passageways in here. We'll go around. Let's get this fully lit up. Let's get some cobblestone so we can seal this room here. Like that. Let's see what's in here. Purple runes, red runes, string, mana in a bottle. Just a ton of stuff. We'll take it all, thank you. Get rid of that stick, that way we can break the box. So now that we know what's in here, I think the best thing for us to do is not to be in here, honestly. What is that? Oh crap. That's a block of emerald. Seriously? Alright, little silverfish. Oh, crap. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. We okay? We good? Alright, let's get this block of emerald. And this block of emerald... And that block of lapis lazuli. None of which we can get yet because we have too much other stuff. Go away andesite. Go away crack stone bricks. Good. Okay, I think that's enough for fun in here till we get some better equipment. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to sneak out the way we came in. I think all of this was that passageway. It's up there. I don't even know. But well, we know we can get out this way. So let's go out this way. And um, I'm going to go unload all this stuff. And we'll talk about like what we can do to make this life better down in here. I think that's enough mining for now. So catch you at the house. <laughs>